Good morning, Internet! This is the old fat dad, and welcome back to another beautiful day on the Goober Nation gun range. It is beautiful, but dang, is it hot out here today. My last video, I put some of the hottest 22 rounds up against each other, and I thought I had some pretty decent results, but I had one of my viewers mention in the comments that he thought something looked a little fishy in this particular test. The Velocitor. So, here is the entrance of the Velocitor, and again, it's on the edge, and here is the exit. So, again, the Velocitor is just outperforming its competition. Well, you know what I have to say to you, buddy? You're probably right. So today I'd like to retest and see if we get different results the second time around shooting some of the hottest 22 rounds at 100 yards and checking what kind of damage they do. To recap, we were shooting the, oh, we're falling apart here, the Stinger, the Velocitor, and the good old Aguila Super Maximum in our last video. Um, everything's in 100 yards. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to commit a cardinal sin for you guys of the rimfire world here. I've got the Bagara BMR. It does have a match chamber, which means it's extra tight for a 22 chamber, and you're not supposed to shoot these stingers with their extra long case in a match chamber, but it's what I brought. So today, we're going to do it for you. Hopefully I don't screw up the old rifle here. And uh, it's also shooting like a shotgun pattern here with the... Uh, stingers extra stiff loading it there but hopefully i got three of those clay blocks lined up hopefully if i aim in the middle we can hit something let's find out how the stinger does at a hundred on the clay targets here we go okay kind of a marginal hit there i'm gonna throw one more down there for the stingers Center hit, that's a beauty. Okay, we got a good hit with the stingers. Let's throw a Veloster down there and see how that does. And we'll go check out our results. Okay, one Veloster coming down the pipe. Way low, way low. We're gonna try one more time with the Veloster. Okay, good hit with the Veloster. You've seen the long range footage. I'm gonna bring it down here, let's take a look at it. I got so darn excited about shooting that Veloster and Stinger, I forgot about our good friends, Mr. Aguila and his Super Maximum. So let's go ahead and pop one into the clay at 100 with a super maximum before I forget. Oh, there's one Veloster left in there. We don't want that. I'm going to put five shots in there because I am not confident about my zero with the super maximum. If I remember correctly, it's a good bit different than Velosters and Stingers. So this might be off, but we're going we're gonna to shoot it till we hit it. All right. Super maximum on the clay, 100 yards. How is she going to do? Wow! Okay. I don't know where they hit. This is a good example of how much your zero is going to shift between different kinds of 22 ammo especially. I found that 22 ammo in particular really tends to, to vary widely between rounds as far as where your zero is going to sit. It always pays to spend a little bit of time trying to find it. Find out where your zero is going to be after you switch ammo. I think I've got a good idea where this is hitting. Let's find out. Okay, we got a hit. It's off to the left a little bit, but um, I think that tells us everything we need to know. Let's bring it on down here and take a peek. All right, let's take a look at the Aguila Super Maximum before we do the other two. Um, entry, nice cavitation inside, and there's our little exit out the back. Now, this clay is the hottest it's probably ever going to be 
we're at about 100 degrees out here. It's super hot. I've kept them out of the sun, but they're still very mushy, very pliable. The most liquidy, we're going to see them. So the results today might be a little bit more impressive than the results from the last video, but not by much. All that out of the way, I think the Aguila Super Maximum seems to be giving us the same results as it did last time. So at least it's consistent. Let's take a look at those results. First up, the Stinger. And we had a good sized entry right there. And then a nice little hole out the back. I believe this is going to be pretty similar to the shot we had from the other test. Maybe with a little bit more out the back. That looks a little bit bigger than what we had out the back the last time. And next up is the Veloster. So here's our entrance on the Veloster. And the cavitation inside, I think, is significantly bigger. And then the exit, again, is pretty darn big side to side exit to exit velocitor stinger just a huge difference entrances i think the velocitor is a little bit bigger it's a little bit higher of a shot but i can see on the inside that the stinger did not cavitate as much as that velocitor again this is a velocitor this is the stinger so were the results that I got in the first test an anomaly or do they hold up after retesting? I think they do hold up. I don't think we had any tumbling or anything weird going on like that with the Veloster. I think the Veloster is just carrying more energy than the Stinger at 100 yards. And it makes sense. It's a heavier bullet. It's going slower at the muzzle, but 22s tend to lose velocity pretty quickly. They're not very aerodynamic bullets. I think the Veloster though is uh, more aerodynamic than the Stinger. It's heavier and I think you're going to see that carry on more power down range, especially at 100 yards, which is kind of long range for a 22. But I'm not saying I'm definitively right. I'm just saying with a sample size of two shots, we seem to have uh, repeatable uh, evidence here that the Veloster does do a good bit more damage. Now, if you guys want to do your own testing, I would love to see the results of your testing using different mediums, not just uh, clay, obviously. If someone want to do a gel test at 100 maybe and see if this uh, result holds up with gel, um, love to see it. Please link me your videos in the comments down below. But I think that's all for this test. Mr. Guns and Cars, go check them out. I know I was kind of picking on him a little bit, but he does have a very good channel, and he does very thorough testing with anything that he puts on his channel. And that's it for me. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.